Hey you guys! So today we are looking at this, which is the third Doctor's TARDIS from the Monsters of Peladon. Um, yep, I got one from B&M! I actually got one from B&M! Can you believe that? Holy crap! Um, went in at the weekend and there it was, it's on the shelf. So, couldn't leave it behind. Limited edition, limited. Um, had to pick it up. Hello, yes. So it is John Pertwee in there, the third Doctor and Tardis from Monster of Peladon. Monster of Peladon, exclusive Doctor and Tardis set. Nice artwork on the side there of the Doctor and his Tardis with opening doors. Exclusive Doctor and Tardis set. So on the back, uh, the third Doctor and Tardis from Monster of Peladon with opening doors. I think, I don't know, because it could be exclusive and it could have opening doors. And it could be the third dot from the Monsters of Peladon. But don't quote me on that. Um, there is the blurb on the back. 1974. Oh, I was nothing but... Um, I, was, I was a kid. <clears throat> I was a baby. Yes. This was the fourth adventure in the final season featuring the third Doctor, the Doctor and his final travelling companion, Sarah Jane Smith, arrive back on the planet Peladon with a power struggle is in place between the weary and un underpaid Trascalite miners and the ruling classes. Yeah, I'm not going to read all that because it will take me forever. I'm being dyslexic. I'll get it wrong. Did you know this, fe this set features the Doctor in his splendid dark bottle green jacket and bow tie combined with a lime coloured shirt and dark grey trousers and shoes? The TARDIS scene here is also presented in its normal look from with a matching blue base. So yeah. I have to say when I saw this on the shelf it, I, I turned back into the um, five-year-old I was when well, I wasn't a five-year-old when this was out but you know the five-year-old I was when I used to watch Doctor Who from behind the sofa. I couldn't actually watch Doctor Who from behind the sofa because our sofa was up against the wall. So yeah, I've got to watch it from behind the sofa. Yeah, this is Doctor Who. Anyway, let's get in. Shall we open it, boys and girls? Now I will be honest, John Pertwee is probably my favourite Doctor. There we go. box gently over there. Um, yeah. We should get the out of there. Oops. Oh yeah, we forgot. Uh, screw it down. Just sing amongst yourselves while I undo the screws. Remember kids, don't undo screws with pen knives because you may stab yourself and it is dangerous, etc. And you will also get in trouble for ruining knives because I do it to kitchen cutlery apparently my sonic screwdriver is charging up otherwise I'd have used that right there's TARDIS it has yeah it has the usual it's got a mutt oh cool and a, and a maggot oh so we have included some different Get. Come on, John. And he's tied down. Not mine, is it? Yeah, splendid. I shall put him in the box over there. And we shall put him in the middle. Yes, that is a. We have a doctor with a. With that. We've got quite a serious. That is a very good pertwee, actually. Now the, the thing is, I have a Pertwee in my collection which is the one from like the early days of uh, character options which is in it's at my mum and dad's um, got the one from the other B&M set which has got Joe in it and the master but I left that in the box because I don't know at the time I was leaving stuff in the boxes uh, and I nearly owned it the other day to get the master out of it and then I realised suddenly it's worth a lot of money now, so I, th I thought I'd leave it in the box because I was hoping to get this. So yeah. So I've just got his little hand there to hold his sonic screwdriver, which he doesn't come with. He's very nice. 
ruffles on his sleeve. Nice ruffles on his shirt. And a very big bow tie because bow ties are cool. See, Matt Smith, you weren't the first. Probably won't be the last. Yeah, that is a, that is a nice bow tie. It's got some nice paint to the hair. A little blonde maybe, but I think they've given it like a yellow wash to bring out the detail. It's always good. Yeah. Nice shoes. Hmm. So is that costume right for this era of Doctor Who? Looks like it. Even with that arm looks like it should have a ball joint in it because it's a little bit low down but it is articulation wise the usual stuff this is the, obviously the older some of the new ones have like slight ball joints in them this one does not it doesn't really matter because he's just going to be stood in front of his tardis yep so talking of tardises duh Ta -da! tardis right now it has the usual piece of plastic around it Yes, I, I, I know you guys have probably seen the new B&M figures that are coming out and, oh wow. The easiest way to remove these is to actually push it in. The problem is the sellotape gets stuck. It's weird, isn't it? But... <laughs> <laughs> Sing amongst yourselves. Yeah. So, in fact, I find these, and I think, what the one does that come out of? I find loads of bits because I do that one. Um, right, so that door doesn't seem to want to close anymore. There we go. There is the button in there because it has a closing door. Now, this is, as you can see, this is a nice. Nice shade of blue. It looks a little bit darker on the camera than it is in real life. It's got some nice weathering -y stuff to the police box sign up there and has that light on the top. It also has the smaller base on it. I'm looking at the other two. This is stood at the side of me here. Yeah, but it is a nice, it's a nice colour. This I have to admit, I, I was looking at this in the box and I was thinking to myself, this is this is very much how I see the TARDIS. It's it's the perfect, you know that thing of the perfect colour? And this really is the perfect. Let's see if we can go down a little bit. There we go. Ah, look. Yeah. It has a very nice it looks a lot darker on camera, but it is a very light blue. Actually, there you go. That is more the blue that it looks mm, in real life. Maybe not, but yeah, it's, it's looking a weird blue on the camera. But it's very light blue. Ow! That spring is a little bit fierce. Yeah. I wish they would just make a back, another back panel for that. If you have a look on um, Amazon, there is a review of one of these. I don't think it's this one, it's, it could be this one. It's one of the Pertwee ones. Um, and the nice gentleman says he was really upset when he got it because he took this off, which he had to prise off because it is glued down. He had to prise it off and the battery thing was missing. So he'd sent it back and demanded a refund. And then somebody had put later further down in comments, ignore the idiot at the top. <laughs> It's not supposed to have lights and sound in it. So yeah. It has the police. Just out of interest. It does have the little shelf on the inside there, but the phone's gone. But the little shelf is still in there that the other ones had. I mean it's kind of clever of them because it's just the same the same body every time. But let's let's show you, right? That's that one. Then we have, um, I guess one of the next ones would be that one, which is the Shada version. And then there's that one, which is the Cave of Androzani version. You can see we've got a new top. And there is that one, I'm trying to figure out. That is also, I think that's the Regeneration Pertwee one. So that would go like so. A plethora of 
of TARDIS is. So as you can see, very light blue, but I love the weathering on it. It's got some really, I, know, it's, yeah, I keep showing it, but it's got some really nice weathering on it. It really does look like the movie prop. I have an urge to go out into the fields when I can, if ever again, and um, put it places and take pictures of it. I used to have the Dennis Fisher one as a kid. I used to do that. I used to put it places and think, oh, look at that. That looks so like the TARDIS. Little, the silver little door thing on there as well, which is nice. I'm just looking at the, that's another difference as well, look, because they've got, that one's got the same, the same, and then that last one is different. Do they all have the, let me just have a feel on the inside. Yeah, they all have that shelf in there, but they're locked now. Um, I do have, um, funny enough, I, I, I've, I've got the, I guess it would be, the Matt Smith TARDIS. I've got the one with the, the the modern one with the white thing, which I think is the Matt Smith one, which is the sound effects one that I have, which I've used. You've seen it in other videos. Um, I didn't bring it over here because I knew I'd only get these ones on it. <laughs> but I found one at my mum and dad's the other day, and I thought, oh, I've got two of those, so I can I can do something with that. And when I put the two together, I was like, no, they're two different ones. Ding dang. So yeah, I think this is a really another great addition we have one coming soon which is going to be um the second doctor which looks great and again slightly different colors different lights on the top and things like that i mean this one's got that one which is pretty much the same as that but it's a different color i i know my mum will be saying that you that's actually shame which it isn't because that's got the bigger base that's got thinner base that's got that base that's got trust me I'm going to have to get a shelf all just for my TARDISes, I've decided. I'm going to start collecting Batmobiles because you can go crazy over the Batman figures, but Batmobiles, there's only so many. Yeah. I like them. So yeah, sorry, I'm waffling and getting all excited. There we have, which is kind of how I'll probably stand him. I'm thinking of doing a display with them all like that and putting the Doctor for each one in front. Because that is kind of his, and kind of his as well, because that's when he regenerated. <laughs> if I was to say which one is my favourite, looking at them in a row like that, I would probably actually say that one. That one looks most like the TARDIS from when I was a kid. It's that colour. Oh, it's weird. That one, the colour looks slightly wrong on it. I don't know why. That one I like. Very dark. Later ones, that obviously is from... Yeah, that one. That's that's gonna be. I have a new favourite. <laughs> so, thank you for watching this, guys. Um, hope you found this entertaining. What would really help would be a like down there at the bottom because it helps with the algorithm and things like that. You know what to do. Yeah, just give me a like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button because it all helps the channel. So that's it. Yeah, I hope you guys are keeping well, keeping safe. Have a great day. A great night and hopefully I will see you all in another video. Bye now.